Number 10, Cabrio Velo. Kicking off our list of bike cars and velomobiles is the Cabrio Velo, which the owners claim to be the convertible sports car of bicycles. The Cabrio Velo has a stable three-wheel design with two wheels in the rear and one in the front for added control and maneuverability. When bad weather strikes, simply add the full cockpit fabric attachments and you're safe from rain, wind, or snow. This vehicle is designed to be pedal powered, but it also has an electric motor to assist with inclines or just to give the driver a break from pedaling. The Cabrio Velo can be locked like any other bike and includes a trunk where you can store groceries or any other shopping goods you might pick up while on the road. There are plenty of other features including headlights, taillights, side view mirrors, and even a horn. The Cabrio Velo is an all-weather bike we found on Indiegogo that's great for shopping, commuting, or just driving around your neighborhood. Number 9. Dry Cycle The fully enclosed pedal cycle properly titled the Dry Cycle was developed in the UK to meet the needs of bicycle commuters who want to stay dry when commuting in bad weather. Legally classified as an electric bicycle or quadricycle, you'll surely stay dry, warm, and sheltered from any bad weather as you commute to and from work or school. This vehicle came about when inventor Andy Murphy was experimenting with ways to combine traveling and exercising. The dry cycle meets all European pedelec requirements, so it can be taken on all bike paths and roads where bicycles are legally allowed to go. There are no additional tax or insurance requirements for this electric velomobile, so you don't have to worry about spending more than the purchase price. The hand grips are heated, offering additional comfort on cold days, and the drivetrain is Shimano's most powerful E8000 mid-drive motor, and the range is 15 miles per 500 watt-hour battery, but it's easy to carry around several extra batteries within the cabin behind the seat. Number 8. City Q. If you like the dry cycle, you'll surely love the City Q. Based out of Norway, the City Q is another fully covered car e-bike meant to keep you bicycling no matter what the weather is like outside. The City Q brings you car-like comfort so you can transport yourself plus groceries or even kids safely to and from your home or work. Yep, designed for urban commuting, it can be driven both on roads or on bike lanes. With a powerful 250 watt motor and a max speed of 25 kilometers per hour, you can pedal up and down hill, to the beach, through rain, or anywhere else you please. The City Q comes stock with two powerful batteries that can deliver 70 to 100 kilometers or roughly 43 to 62 miles of range that can be fully charged in five hours from any standard home outlet. If the batteries run out while on the road, simply start pedaling. The total price of the City Q is expected to be around 7,450 euros or roughly $8,800 and is available for pre-order now. Number 7. Add Motor M360 E-Bike If you live in a location where bad weather isn't a problem for you, then do we have an electric bicycle for you? While not an official Velomobile, the AdMotor M360 E-Bike is a semi-recumbent electric trike beach cruiser that provides the ultimate comfort ride, even at the beach. The recumbent nature of this electric trike is great for anyone 5 foot 6 inches to 6 foot 6 inches, as the seats adjust forwards and backwards, instead of up and down like a traditional bike. The M360 e-bike has 4-inch thick Henda brand fat tires for added stability and the Shimano 7-speed chain puller that allows the rider to smoothly shift between gears even on inclines. The 48-volt, 750-watt, front-wheel-mounted hub-style electric motor can crank out 80 newton meters of torque and 1,000 peak watts of power for quick acceleration in hill climbs. The 16-amp-hour high-capacity Panasonic battery is mounted directly to the frame beneath the saddle, delivering a max range of 55 miles with the pedal assist. The battery is also lockable and removable, so you can be sure to keep your investment safe. The motor is controlled by a twist grip throttle with a power cut switch and the handlebars fold making for optimal space saving. Get yours now for 2,999 USD. Number 6. The next velomobile on our list was developed by Barcelona-based Super Composites engineering firm Begaray, who believes their vehicle is the real alternative to traditional vehicles for daily commutes. Known for making composite materials for racing and other industries, the Begaray Velomobile is an example of what a perfectly designed light quadricycle can be. 
Inspired by race car safety regulations, this electric velomobile is made with a carbon fiber body, aerospace grade aluminum space frame, carbon fiber bucket, and four point harness seat belt, ensuring you're kept safe even in the unfortunate event of an accident. The company aims to end boring city commutes while improving physical and mental well being by offering last mile options that are futuristic, safe, and ultimately fun to ride. The aerospace grade aluminum chassis is estimated to be capable of withstanding a force of up to five tons from any direction, front, rear, side, or overturning. And the four-wheel hydraulic disc brake system guarantees the shortest possible stopping distance. Which is great, but number one might be even cooler. Number five, Canyon Future Mobility Concept. Up next is one of the most futuristic and well thought out covered semi-recumbent e-bikes ever created. The Canyon Future Mobility concept is designed so the user can seamlessly jump from the street to the bike lane and back to the street again. The capsule concept is a solution to help bring total weather protection to electric bicycle enthusiasts with a sealable cockpit surrounded by a panoramic lid that slides forwards and backwards to get in and out of the vehicle. The ergonomics are similar to a recumbent bike in that the rider sits in the seat and steers with two joystick style handles on either side of the driver. The result is a laid back comfortable position for the rider and a nimble vehicle with a 7 meter turning radius. And while this vehicle may look like a car, it is important to note it still functions like a bicycle and is governed by all the appropriate bicycle regulations. The planned range for the Canyon Future Mobility concept is 150 kilometers or 93 miles and the battery pack is planned to be 2 kilowatt hours so be sure to keep your eyes peeled for this concept velomobile once it becomes a reality. And you can also stay tuned to our channel to learn about any updates related to this vehicle. Number 4. Pod Ride up next is the unbelievably fun and quirky looking pod ride velomobile, which looks kind of like a grade schooler's cartoon drawing of a car. Developed by a Swedish engineer, the pod ride will keep the rider safe, dry, and warm in any weather. The electric motor's power output is adjustable, allowing the rider to adjust the level of assistance received when riding on flat ground versus going uphill or through rough terrain. Chances are you may have already seen the pod ride as videos of this vehicle have gone viral, garnering over 250 million views on YouTube alone, and the electric-assisted Velomobile has been featured in the Washington Post, Business Insider, and more. And while still in pre-production, the company claims a four-wheeled version is slated for release in mid-2021, and a three-wheeled version should be available 12 months later. Current planned distribution and sales are slated for the US, Canada, and Europe. The pedal-assisted electric motor will have continuous power output of 250 watts, allowing the bike to achieve a top speed of roughly 25 kilometers in European models. However, the US and Canada models may come standard with a larger 500 watt motor, giving them a higher top speed. Number 3. Organic Transit Elf Velomobile if quirky looking e-bikes and velomobiles are your thing, then we've got another vehicle that is right up your alley. The ELF by Organic Transit is a solar hybrid vehicle powered by both you and the sun. And touted as one of the most efficient vehicles on the planet, this futuristic vehicle gets an estimated MPGE or miles per gallon equivalent of 1800 MPGE. Currently available in the US, the ELF comes in three different models, each of which are available to purchase right now. The ELF Solo, the ELF 2FR, and the Tactical ELF. The ELF weighs between 160 and 180 pounds, depending on the model and how it is outfitted, and can reach a top speed of 20 miles per hour with electric assistance and 30 miles per hour with pedal power alone. The electric motor is 750 watts, and the battery pack can take you up to 48 miles with no pedaling. If you are pedaling, however, the ELF can take you a lot further. The charge time is just 2.5 hours from any standard outlet or 7 hours if charged directly from the sun via the solar powered charger. Number 2. Vival Armadillo up next is an electric cargo bike slash velomobile for the business crowd. The Vivolve Armadillo is a cargo bike developed to help reimagine last mile city logistics. And while that may sound like a tall order, Vivolve has already worked with DHL and many other shipping companies to pioneer an ecosystem of smart city hubs where containerized cargo bikes can deliver cargo more efficiently to businesses in urban areas. Positioned to replace cargo vans in inner cities, the Vivolve Armadillo 
is a fully suspended cargo site that hauls cargo like a human-powered tractor trailer that is compact and fast enough to navigate bike lanes and streets, and is outfitted with a 35 cubic foot cargo box that the company is hoping will standardize inner city shipping logistics. The cargo capacity of each Vivolve cargo box is between 275 and 330 pounds, and the 250 watt pedal assisted electric mid drive motor gives the Armadillo the power and torque it needs to get the cargo delivered. The most current prototype includes double wishbone suspension, so drivers are less likely to damage sensitive goods like wedding cakes when commuting over rough, uneven urban streets. Now before we get to number one, did you know that YouTube recommends you get one like for every 25 views on a video? If you've enjoyed this top 10 electric assisted velomobiles, be sure to give this video a thumbs up right now. And now the moment you've been waiting for. Number one, Better Bike Pebble. Unlike some of the other velomobiles on this list, the Pebble by Better Bike is available on three models, all of which are available right now. The Pebble, the Pebble Eco, and the Pebble 100. Each model varies in range from 25 to 100 miles and has a variable speed of 15 to 25 miles per hour. All models come standard with a rear suspension, full street lighting, horn, reverse, and even cruise control. The 750 watt pedal assisted motor gives the driver the ease of a car with the exercising ability of a traditional bicycle. The prices range from 10,700 to 13,000 US dollars, and the company is established enough to offer financing for up to five years with a three point percent APR. 10 Futuristic Personal Transportation Inventions That You Have To See Hi viewer and welcome to the future. Personal transportation technology is advancing in mind-bending ways that can sometimes make us say, how far will this transport stuff really go? Huge electric vehicle companies like Segway, as well as innovative startups like Eli and Trigo, are finding ways to push the envelope on urban mobility, and we can't wait to tell you about these must-see vehicles in this video. But before we do, if you enjoy this kind of content, please do me a personal favor and subscribe to our channel. So, with no further ado, here are the top 10 personal transportation inventions that you have to see to believe. Roll the intro. Number 10, Z-Scooter. Transportation is one aspect of our lives that has been greatly influenced by advancements in technology. And one of the most must-see personal transportation technologies in recent years is that of the self-balancing scooter. Enter the Z-Scooter Electric Scooter by Bell & Bell. While not the originator of the self-balancing scooter, this fancy-looking must-see scooter has innovated the genre by adding a design similar to old Vespa mopeds. In fact, the Z-Scooter looks less like the chunky Segways of yesteryear and more like a modern upright Vespa. That's right, you can now drive around in a much cooler looking, self-balancing scooter. What's more, with the safe and compact Z-Scooter, you won't have to worry about getting stuck in traffic or fighting for a parking spot. The Z-Scooter improves balance and core and also features responsive braking, which helps riders avoid collisions and increase battery life. The Z-Scooter weighs 25 kilograms or 55 pounds and the maximum weight load is 100 kilograms or 200 pounds. Curious to know how fast it goes? This must-see standing scooter can reach a top speed of 20 kilometers or 12 miles per hour thanks to the 1350 watt motors and the total driving range is 30 kilometers or 18 miles. The price to get your hands on one of these colorful personal transportation inventions is 6,000 euro or roughly 6,800 USD. Number 9, Eli Zero. The next must-see personal vehicle is the almost adorable looking Eli Zero NEV from Los Angeles-based Eli Electric Vehicles. NEV stands for Neighborhood Electric Vehicle and is a legal classification in the US applied to vehicles with a top speed of 25 miles per hour or less. These vehicles can legally drive on streets with a top posted speed limit of 35 miles per hour. Now that we have that definition out of the way, the Eli Zero NEV is a head-turning personal transportation invention that has been built from the ground up to produce an extended range, high torque, and smooth acceleration thanks to its 3.2 kilowatt motor that delivers a top speed of 25 miles per hour. The total driving range is 70 miles or 112 kilometers thanks to its energy-dense lithium battery cells, brake and energy recovery system, as well as the futuristic battery heating system that allows for better performance in cold climates. 
The charge time via a typical 120 volt outlet is 5 hours, but if you have access to a 240 volt outlet similar to the ones your washer and dryer plug into, then the charge time can be completed in 2.5 hours. This must-see microcar is unlike other mini EVs in that it does feature power steering and power brakes, which other microcar brands tend to skip out on due to the lightweight nature of these vehicles. Production is happening now, and the expected retail price is $11,999. Number 8. Cycleboard If you're ready for another must-see personal transportation vehicle, then it's time to take a step away from that kid's scooter that you have lying around your garage and check out the Cycleboard by California-based Cycleboard Inc. Originally developed by a Desert Storm veteran and funded via Kickstarter, this must-see e-scooter is designed to be ridden for thousands of miles over many years. The most impressive aspect, and in fact the feature in which the brand is built, is the three wheels and patented steering linkage system that amplifies the degree of wheel turn to match the lean of the rider. This system not only supports the rider, but automatically returns the board back to center, adding a remarkable level of safety and stability. The 450 watt motor and five, count them, five speed modes allow for top speeds of 27 miles per hour and hill climbing capabilities of up to 20%. There are a few models to choose from, the Elite Pro or Street Series, the Rover or All Terrain Series, or the Golf, which is pretty much just to be used as a caddy on the golf course. The total driving ranges vary between 25 and 40 miles, depending on which model you choose, and the base price is 1899 USD. If you're interested in the cycle board, you'd be happy to know that we've worked out a limited time special offer for $100 off just for our viewers. If you'd like to know more, just click the link in the description below. Number 7. Stator LE And now it's time to get really serious with one of the most must-see personal transportation vehicles out there. And of course, I'm talking about the two-wheeled, giant-wheeled, zero-emissions, self-standing Stator LE electric scooter by Nant Mobility. Trying to put their name on the micro-mobility map, this electric scooter has a very unique single-sided handlebar that protrudes directly from the front tire. And on the handlebar, you'll find a twist throttle, brake lever, key lock, on-off button, horn, and battery indicator. The engineering marvel that is the Stator LE is capable of achieving speeds of 30 miles or 51 kilometers per hour, so you can easily bypass traffic or cruise the woods in almost complete silence. The 1 kilowatt hour battery is rated by the company to deliver 80 miles or 129 kilometers of range, but this total driving range claim is still disputed as there is no production model to test as of the time of this recording. Having this said, potential consumers have responded quite positively to this vehicle's unique design, oversized tires, and must-see self-balancing capabilities. Despite the high demand for the Stator LE, it is not currently on the market. We'll definitely keep an eye on this personal transportation invention and report back on any advancements we find out about. Number 6. Trigo Meet Trigo, the personal transportation invention that claims to recover time wasted on daily commutes. How does it do this, you ask? By cutting in line, of course. That's right, if you've ever been stuck in traffic and wished you could transform your car into a motorcycle to effortlessly zip between all the backed up vehicles, then the Polish company Trigo has the vehicle for you. This must-see small electric car is only 260 meters long, but the width is really where the magic happens. Thanks to the adjustable wheelbase, the Trigo can be adjusted from a total width of 146 centimeters to a much narrower 86 centimeters. The wider cruise mode is for faster driving that requires more stability and the narrower maneuvering mode is for slower driving in parking lots or when passing between vehicles and traffic jams. The top speed in cruise mode is 90 kilometers or 56 miles per hour and the top speed in maneuvering mode is much slower at 35 kilometers or 21 miles per hour. The Trigo has a maximum range of 100 kilometers or 62 miles on a single charge thanks to its 8 kilowatt hour replaceable battery pack and two 10 kilowatt electric motors. The interior features a digital control system that can be upgraded to fully autonomous driving, meaning that one day, if it's ever made fully legal, you could use this must-see vehicle as an income generating robo-taxi. There is no current confirmation on the price, but some estimates put it between $15,000 and $18,000. Number 5. Vanderhall Carmel 
It's time to take the speed and luxury factor up a notch with the Carmel GT by US-based Vanderhall Motors. With top speeds as high as 130 miles per hour and oodles of luxury design and features, this three-wheeled reverse trike car thing virtually dwarfs the top speeds of all the other vehicles on this list. Vanderhall specializes in building reverse three-wheeled vehicle setups like the Carmel GT, where two wheels are placed in the front of the vehicle instead of the rear, producing much better handling and ride stability. The brand sources and uses GM-based turbocharged engines for all their models, and the Carmel GT features a 1.5-liter motor that produces 194 horsepower. Did we mention this must-see personal transportation invention is fast? No? How about a 0-60 to 60 time of an astounding 4.5 seconds or a top speed of 138 miles per hour? Outside of that, this luxurious vehicle comes with all the standard features you'd expect from ABS and cruise control to Bluetooth connectivity to heated seats. So if you need to get where you're going in quite the hurry, all while garnering the adoration of your friends, then check out the Vanderhall Carmel. Just keep in mind the $37,950 base price tag. Number four, Sway Lithium. Another must-see personal transportation invention is the tilting electric trike, the Sway Lithium, by California-based Sway Motorsports. This fun-looking, futuristic vehicle offers the performance of a motorcycle with the brand's patented Sway Tilt control that increases ride stability and loose traction maneuverability. Built for anyone to ride and roughly the size of a modern motor scooter, the Sway Lithium can turn on a tighter radius than a motorcycle, and riders do not have to put their feet down to balance the vehicle at slow speeds or a stop. The 6 kilowatt PMAC hub-mounted motor produces about 8 horsepower, which is roughly equivalent to a 125cc gas engine, and features a top speed of 55 miles per hour. The 4.2 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack and 330 pound gross weight combine to give the total driving range of about 40 miles or 64 kilometers and can be charged via a standard 110 volt or 240 volt outlet. There will be an upgrade option for a standard J1772 car charger plug that will allow the Sway lithium to be charged at public electric vehicle charging stations. It should be noted that this must-see transportation vehicle is not yet publicly available on the market. If you'd like us to keep tabs on any production advancements, then let us know by putting the hashtag SwayLithium in the comments. Number 3. Yamaha Tritown in an effort to make last mile personal mobility more fun, Yamaha Motors has created a must-see concept vehicle on the basis of biomimicry. The biomimicry design approach of the Yamaha Tritown is inspired by shapes and structures found in the natural world and led to the design of a bike that leans but doesn't fall over. Originally revealed at the 2017 Tokyo Motor Show, the Tritown concept features Yamaha's proprietary leaning multi-wheel technology that gives the rider a straight-on stance similar to skiing. Stability is derived from the 14-inch wheels, wide stance, and 40 kilogram or 88 pound total weight, and the charging time of the 380 watt hour lithium ion battery pack is approximately three hours, which gives a total driving range of 20 miles. The 500 watt in-wheel hub motor produces a top speed of 25 kilometers or 15 miles per hour. And while this vehicle is a must see, as it is a concept vehicle, there's no way to actually get your hands on one yet. Number 2. Segway E-Moped C80 The next must-see personal transportation invention is the colorful Segway E-Moped C80. This vehicle is the company's first intelligent moped-style e-bike, and it just might be a game-changer for your daily commute or for a fun day off. With a top speed of 20 miles per hour, it's definitely not the fastest personal transport on the list, but the C80 has convenience and ease of use down to a science. The 1152 watt hour lithium ion battery gives you a total driving range of 52 miles on a single charge and the Ride Go intelligent system introduces a few very futuristic functions. Two NFC key tags are included that you simply swipe across the dashboard to lock or unlock. There is also auto lock, air lock, and smart seat detection where the vehicle will lock itself after the rider leaves the seat. What's more futuristic is the compact and lightweight maneuverability that allows it to easily be taken into elevators or into the office or in storage. 
and at just 121 pounds and 5 feet in length, this e-moped truly can be taken anywhere. Want more cool stuff? How about the halo-shaped headlight with an ambient lighting sensor that adjusts the brightness based on the environment, or the simple-to-use auto cruise control, or one of the most advanced e-moped anti-theft systems? The list of must-see features goes on and on with the Segway e-moped C80, and the four available color schemes really are out of this world cool. Get yours now for $2,199 USD. Number 1. Jetson 1. The Jetson 1 is a no license required personal aircraft that nearly broke the internet when it was revealed a few months back. Officially an EVTOL or EVTOL, this futuristic mode of transportation is built by a Swedish company and it falls under the ultralight category, meaning no pilot's license is required to fly one. The weight of this futuristic vehicle really is what sets it apart, coming in at a mere 86 kilograms or 190 pounds. This, combined with the maximum total output of 88 kilowatts, give a flight time of 20 minutes, which is about standard for almost any drone. The altitude ceiling is 1,500 feet, but if you do manage to get your hands on one of these, we'd venture to guess it'd be pretty scary to get one over 20 feet off the ground. What do you think? If you had a Jetson 1, would you take it to an elevation of 1,500 feet? Let us know in the comments. This must-see personal aircraft is controlled by a three-axis joystick and throttle lever, and the maximum pilot weight is 210 pounds. The price is $92,000, and the vehicle is delivered as a kit that you must build on your own. Production models are already sold out through the end of 2022, but if you want to get one for 2023, you can reserve yours now for $22,000. Hi viewer, you're on the prowl for more incredibly futuristic looking mini EVs. Whether you want to purchase a mini electric car or just want to see what's going on in the mini EV industry, we've got you covered with today's list of the top 10 incredible mini EVs. Roll the intro. Number 10. Electromechanica Solo. The Electromechanica Solo is definitely not your typical mini EV. Though it functions like a conventional combustion engine car, this mini electric vehicle has only three wheels. Yep, only three wheels! Two in the front and one in the rear, making the single-seater mini EV a healthy blend of micro-mobility and futuristic innovation. And though the Electromechanica Solo EV is a three-wheeled EV, the company ensures that both comfort and safety were not compromised in the development of this vehicle. The brand prioritized their passenger safety by protecting them with built-in side impact protection bars, airbags, and all the other safety features you'd expect from a modern vehicle. Inside the Solo, there is a four-way adjustable seat that you can customize, a wide geometry steering wheel, a radio, a functional Bluetooth system, climate control, defogger system, and many more amenities. What's more, the Solo uses 17.3 kilowatt hour lithium ion batteries and a 56 horsepower synchronous electric motor, giving it a zero to 60 time of just 10 seconds and a top speed of 80 miles per hour. The batteries can be fully charged via a standard 120 volt outlet in 15 hours or 0 to 85% in just 2.5 hours via a level 2 charger, giving you a total driving range on a single charge of up to 100 miles. Not bad considering the average daily commute is less than 40 miles. The introductory price of the Electromechanica Solo is $18,000. Number 9. Nissan Scoot Quad Mobility Concept Now here's another interesting mini EV, this time from Nissan. The Nissan Scoot Quad Mobility Concept is a miniature electric car with two seats that is suitable for getting around town but not necessarily driving on the highways. The Nissan Scoot bears a resemblance to the Renault Twizy and is ideal for urban areas. The rated output of the electric motor is 8 kilowatts, but there is a maximum output option that jumps the power output up to 15 kilowatts. The top speed is 80 kilometers or 50 miles per hour. And the 6.1 kilowatt hour battery pack can be fully charged with a level 2 charger in 4 hours. 
The Nissan Scoot has no side windows or smartphone connectivity. However, the windshield mount can hold a smartphone, allowing the driver to use their own GPS system. While not available to the public in retail form yet, it can be rented via Scoot Quad Charging Stations or Network for the price of $6 per half hour or $80 per day. Number 8. Electric Moat if you're a fan of boxy style Jeep designs, then the electric Moak may be a mini EV that catches your eye. Originally created to be used by the British Army, the mini Moak was first made for commercial consumption in 1964. In 2017, Moak America brought the mini Moak back as an all electric car. Interestingly enough, the design of this mini EV has not changed at all since its inception. The Moke's open-air design delivers a relaxing vibe while driving it, and the four seats allows you to bring more friends along than you'd be able to in the Solo or Nissan Scoot. The 60-volt, 14.9-kilowatt, three-phase electric motor delivers 20 horsepower, 95 newton-meters of torque, and has a top speed of 25 miles per hour. The battery capacity is 12 kilowatt hours, giving a total driving range of 40 miles or 64 kilometers. The electric Moke can be yours at the starting price of 20,975 USD. But believe it or not, this vehicle does qualify for the electric vehicle tax credit. Number 7 City Transformer Microcar. The City Transformer Microcar, or CT1, might be the most futuristic mini EV on this list as it does indeed transform whenever you need it, going from the slim city mode where it can park and outsmart traffic like a motorcycle to the wider performance mode where the tires shift outward to give a more aggressive car-like stance. So you really can have the proverbial cake and eat it too. The retractable wheels enable the driver to sneak in and out of traffic, park in narrow spaces, or even fit on the inside of an elevator, should that option ever present itself. With two seats and front to back or cockpit style, you can effortlessly take a friend or loved one with you on trips around town. The performance of this mini EV is great too, as it can reach a top speed of 90 kilometers or 56 miles per hour. This is thanks in part to its dual 7.5 kilowatt motors mounted to the front and rear of the car and lightweight body design. The battery pack is sufficient enough to deliver a max driving range of 180 kilometers or 112 miles and can be charged via DC quick charge mode from zero to 80% in just 30 minutes. The City Transformer CTI can be pre-ordered for 12,500 euros or roughly 14,600 US dollars. We here at The Future feel this vehicle has a lot to offer, so if you'd like us to do a deep dive on it, please just leave the hashtag City Transformer below. Number 6. Ego Life the Ego Life is a sporty looking mini electric car that has an efficiency class rating of A+. What's more, the brand believes that the way towards a more sustainable future is through smarter, not larger, batteries. This is prevalent via their innovative micro factory that helps develop batteries that rely less on Earth's valuable minerals. Despite its nimble size, it is spacious with a trunk volume that holds up to 640 liters when the seats are folded. The Ego Life has a 57 kilowatt peak output motor that delivers a 0 to 50 kilometer time of 4.3 seconds and a top speed of 122 kilometers or 76 miles per hour. The 21 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery has 374 volts and can be charged from 0 to 95% in just 5.7 hours. Once fully charged, this mini EV can easily hit its total driving range of 175 kilometers or 109 miles. And you can have your own Ego Life for 15,900 euros or 18,500 US dollars. Number 5. Ari 802 Now this mini EV is just downright fun looking. The RE802 for two people is ideal for narrow city streets while at the same time leaving enough room for groceries and shopping bags. 
Whether in a rush or not, you can go to your destination quickly with its top speed of 49 miles or 80 kilometers per hour. This is due to the vehicle's ultra lightweight and 7.5 kilowatt powertrain. The lead battery variant will deliver a total driving range of 74 miles, whereas the LifePo 4 battery variant will deliver 155 miles of total driving range. And there is also a solar panel option that will undoubtedly increase the total driving range. Other features include electric windows, interior heating design, and a central locking feature with a remote control. It also has a touchscreen radio, rear view camera, and glass panorama roof with a ready to use sun blind. Base price is 10,999 euros or roughly 13,000 US dollars. Number four, Trigo. The Polish-made Trigo electric mini car is another mini EV with a retractable feature similar to the City Transformer CT1. However, the Trigo has one slightly more innovative feature, and I'm talking about the tilting tires that allow the driver to get into turns kind of like you would if you were driving a motorcycle. In cruise mode, the Trigo measures 148 centimeters wide, and when parking or in a traffic jam, the vehicle can narrow down to just 86 centimeters wide. This mode is called maneuver mode. Trigo's other futuristic features include digital controls and an upgradable system for autonomous driving. There are two 10 kilowatt electric motors that power this vehicle and deliver a top speed of 90 kilometers or 55 miles per hour. The removable batteries can deliver a total driving range of 86 miles on a single charge. No word on pricing, but the Trigo will soon be available in the European Union and Chinese markets. Number three, Toyota iRoad. Now here's a fun set of colorful mini EVs. The Toyota iRoad is a three-wheeled mini electric vehicle that is equal parts car and equal parts motorcycle. And given its compact design, it can actually fit into most motorcycle parking spaces. Despite that, it can also fit two people inside, cockpit style, and cruise at a top speed of 37 miles per hour. Did we also mention that this vehicle has lean technology that allows it to lean and steer in the corners? The iRoad has a 5.5 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery that charges in just three hours, and a full charge can get the driver to a total driving range of 50 kilometers or 31 miles. And though this is a concept mini EV, there are sources out there that put the price at about 14,000 USD. Number two, Ixam eCity Sport. The Ixam eCity Sport is a trendy looking mini EV that specializes in agility and an affordable price. With 0% noise pollution and a two year warranty on the car itself, as well as a five year warranty on the battery, you can be sure that your purchase is safe. What's more, this vehicle is made up of nearly 100% recyclable materials, so no landfills will be required when this car eventually bites the dust. The engine is a 6 kilowatt peak power motor that delivers 50 newton meters of torque and a top speed of 45 kilometers or 28 miles per hour. The 5.1 kilowatt hour lithium battery pack gives a total driving range of 70 kilometers or 43 miles. If charged via a level 2 220 volt outlet, you can expect to get 80% of charge in just 30 minutes. The base price for this sporty looking mini EV is 15,299 euros or roughly 17,700 US dollars. Now before we get to number one, I'd like to take a quick moment to say thank you very much for watching our video to the end. It really helps our channel grow. And if you'd like to see more futuristic content, please be sure to tap that subscribe button. Number one, Cherry EQ1. The Cherry EQ1 is one of the most innovative and successful mini EVs made for the Chinese market. Did you know this vehicle also has a common nickname in the bug family? Yep, the EQ1 is referred to by many as the Cherry Ant. This four-seater ultra mini car was originally released in 2016 and is still in production today. 
And despite its super mini categorization, it still has a 30 kilowatt, 40 horsepower permanent magnet synchronous motor that produces 120 newton meters of torque and a top speed of 100 kilometers or 62 miles per hour. This mini EV also has intelligent features like one button automatic parking, as well as AI technology that helps you navigate, making the Cherry EQ1 super convenient to use. This low energy consumption vehicle comes with a 30.6 kilowatt hour battery pack that could get a total driving range of 200 kilometers or 124 miles. At the time of launch, the base price was 49,800 yuan, or roughly 7,240 US dollars. Keep an eye out for the Cherry EQ1 because we have a feeling it'll be around for a long time. Number 10, the VW Nils. Kicking off our top 10 list of mini electric cars is the Nils by Volkswagen. Originally premiered at the 2011 Frankfurt Motor Show, this fully electric one-seater concept car attempts to combine sports car-like performance with the silence and comfort of a modern EV. The F1-inspired design of the Nils includes outboard-mounted 17-inch wheels with low rolling resistance tires and a single electric powertrain located just behind the driver's seat. The 15 kilowatt motor delivers power to the rear wheels only and has a peak 25 kilowatt overboost option that allows the vehicle to accelerate quicker for a short period of time. Co-developed by Volkswagen and the German Federal Ministry of Transport, Building and Urban Development, the Niels comes with a 5.3 kilowatt hour battery that offers a range distance of 40 miles per charge that can be fully charged in just under two hours. While an EV with a 40 mile range does seem absurd here in 20. 21. Keep in mind that this mini EV concept car premiered over a decade ago in 2011, long before Tesla and other EV manufacturers had poured billions of dollars into battery technology research and development. The electric powertrain weighs in at just over 42 pounds and the entire car itself weighs just over a thousand pounds, giving the Nils a top speed of 80 miles an hour and a zero to 60 time of just under 11 seconds. The cabin is surrounded by polycarbonate going doors, giving the the driver the feel of being in the DeLorean from Back to the Future. <laughs> I'm sorry, you little devil. Number 9. Citroën Ami The Ami is a fully electric mini EV developed by French-based auto manufacturer Citroën. This ultra-compact and colorful urban mobility vehicle is technically classified as an electric quadricycle, allowing the manufacturer to sidestep a whole host of big boy car regulations. In fact, the Ami and many others on this list are miniature vehicles meant to replace bus trips, e-scooters, skateboards, or electric bicycles, but not necessarily cars themselves. The Ami is 1.4 meters wide and 2.4 meters long, or should we say 2.4 meters short, and can seat two people relatively comfortably. Under the hood is a 6 kilowatt motor and 5.5 kilowatt hour battery that powers the front axle and delivers a top speed of 30 miles an hour and a range of 47 miles. While that range isn't the greatest, a full charge can be achieved from any standard socket in just three hours. The body is made of unpainted blue Ami colored plastic that is mounted on a very square and modular chassis. In fact, if you look closely, you'll notice the front and back panels, as well as the side panels, are symmetrical, allowing for easy swappability and decreased production costs. This is one of the reasons the Citroen Ami costs just $6,000 to purchase outright. However, as with most things, these days, there are other ownership options. For 2,600 pounds plus 20 pounds per month, you can lease the ride for 48 months, or you can simply give it a test ride on the free to move car sharing app if you live in France, Spain, Italy, Belgium, Portugal, or Germany, that is. Number 8 Wuling Mini EV. Now it's time to talk about one of the most successful mini electric vehicles to date. And of course, I'm talking about the Wuling Mini EV. This microcar was developed as a partnership between Chinese auto manufacturer SAIC and US auto manufacturer GM. Production began on the Wuling Mini EV in July of 2020, and as of January 2021, over 160,000 units have been delivered, virtually all within China. 
The Hongwang Wuling Mini EV comes with two battery options. The first is the smaller 9.2 kilowatt hour battery pack that delivers a range of 120 kilometers or 75 miles, and the 13.8 kilowatt hour battery pack that can deliver a range of 170 kilometers or 110 miles. The single 13 kilowatt motor delivers 17.4 horsepower and 62.7 pound feet of torque to the rear wheels. This vehicle can seat four people and has a top speed of 100 kilometers or 62 miles per hour. Prices in USD range from $4,162 for the base model to $5,607 for the fully loaded version, making it China's cheapest EV. The Wuling Mini EV will also soon come in a convertible cabriolet style model. Stay tuned for more information about that. Number 7. The Renault Twizy this two-seater miniature car is classified as a micro car and was developed and marketed by French auto manufacturer Renault. There are two models, each with separate power outputs and numbers that correspond to the top speed and kilometers. For instance, the Twizy 45 has a 4 kilowatt motor and a top speed of 45 kilometers per hour, while the Twizy 80 has a 13 kilowatt motor and a top speed of 80 kilometers per hour. Each model has a 6.1 kilowatt hour battery and an electric range of about 56 miles. The Twizy was initially revealed as a concept car in 2009, and due to much fanfare, production began in 2012 and continues to this day. Prices range from 6,990 euros to 8,490 euros. But one interesting fact is that the price does not include the battery. Rather, the battery packs are leased for a monthly fee that includes full battery pack replacement and roadside assistance if needed. The Twizy was the top-selling electric plug-in vehicle in Europe in 2012, and cumulative sales of the vehicle totaled 30,000 units by December 2019, majoritively in European markets. And if the Twizy is just too boring for you, remember, in 2013, Renault Sport revealed the Twizy F1, which is a really cool Formula One version of the Twizy. Number 6. Unity One Swedish company Unity One initially crowdsourced over $1 million to build a prototype of their mini electric urban vehicle, claiming the final production version would cost under $23,000 or €20,000 while delivering over 300 kilometers of range. The battery pack is 22 kilowatt hours and capable of DC charging that can refill 200 kilometers of range in just 30 minutes. The top speed is 70 miles an hour and the 0 to 60 time is just shy of 10 seconds, making the Unity Unity One, an interstate and highway ready mini car. The interior is capable of holding three passengers plus 150 liters of storage with its innovative one in the front, two in the back seating arrangement. Need more room? The back two seats fold down to make room for up to 760 liters of storage if needed. The one plus two seating configuration allows for riders in the back seat to easily get in and out without having to move the front seat. One cool feature of the Unity One is the electrochromic roof that lights lightens and darkens according to the amount of sunlight outside. When it's lighter outside, the electrochromic glass receives more solar radiation and becomes more transparent. When it's darker outside, the glass receives less solar radiation and becomes less transparent. And there are now over 3,000 investors in Unity from over 40 countries globally, and chances are you may see one of these mini EVs near you soon. Number 5. Zacua MX-3 Based out of Mexico City, the Zacua MX-3 is the first ever electric car 100% built in and specifically designed for Mexico. In fact, Zacua's company mission is to create better urban mobility while decreasing environmental impacts to accelerate Mexico's transition to greener technologies. First available in January of 2019, this two-seater, three-door electric vehicle weighs a mere 1,500 pounds and has a top speed of 53 miles per hour. The PMSM electric motor delivers a maximum power output of 34 kilowatts and 87 newton meters of torque via the front-wheel drive single-speed transmission. The lithium LifePo 4 battery pack has a capacity of 18 kilowatt hours and the SAE J1772 charger can fully charge the vehicle in 8 hours, giving a maximum range of 71 miles or roughly 115 kilometers. The turning radius is a mere 4 meters or 13 feet, allowing the driver to access even the smallest of urban areas and parking spaces. The regenerative braking supplies the battery pack with additional power and the current price is 599,000 pesos or just of $30,000. Number 4. Eli Zero 
The Eli Zero is classified as an NEV, or Neighborhood Electric Vehicle, which means it's legal to use on most streets with posted speed limits of 35 miles or less. This is great since the top speed of this mini EV is a mere 25 miles an hour, making it great for commuting to and from work or cruising around your local community, but not necessarily getting on the highway. The maximum battery range is 70 miles, making this no frills, compact two-seater, fun to drive, and easy to use to get all of your daily errands complete. The lithium battery cells in the Eli Zero are three times more energy dense than typical lead-acid batteries and offer a charge time of 2.5 hours via 240 volt outlet or 5 hours via a traditional 120 volt outlet. There's also an optional battery heating system that can significantly improve overall battery performance in cold weather in cold climates. What's more, the braking system collects energy when decelerating to improve range efficiency. Most mini EVs do not offer power steering or power brakes, mostly to decrease production costs. But the Eli Zero breaks this tradition and has power-assisted brakes and power-assisted steering so you can easily slow down and turn. This mini EV also comes standard with a rear-view camera, keyless start and ignition, and a dual-drive mode perfect for short trips. The MPG-E is estimated at 285 miles, making it several times more efficient than traditional cars, and the price tag starts at a mere $12,000. Number 3. Audi Urban also revealed at the 2011 Frankfurt Auto Show, the Audi Urban and Audi Urban Spider is a one plus one style two seater mini EV specifically made for urban and metropolitan areas. This mini EV has four tires and a steering wheel, but doesn't fit into any modern automobile category. With a weight of 480 kilograms or roughly 1,050 pounds, this concept EV attempts to combine race car and roadster elements with a fun small city commuter car. However, with only a 20 horsepower electric motor, the Audi Urban might just be an overstyled and underpowered mini EV meant to steal visual thunder from the likes of BMW. The cockpit is a lesson in functional minimalism with only a small digital instrument panel, push button gear selector, air vents, and a hazard button. Not many other specs are available regarding price or battery range. So what do you think? How far can the Audi Urban go on a single charge? Would you ever buy one of these sleek looking mini EVs? Let us know below. Number 2. Honda New V Meet the new V, which stands for New Electric Urban Vehicle, a concept vehicle developed by Honda that originally premiered in 2017. This concept mini EV is built on the fact that privately owned vehicles sit idle roughly 96% of the time. Taking this into consideration, Honda built a level 4 semi-autonomous concept vehicle that can add value to the owner by going out to earn money as an autonomous ride-sharing vehicle. Yep, like many other EV companies right now, Honda is developing autonomous and semi-autonomous autonomous vehicles that can make money for their owners by becoming robot taxis when the owner is not using the car. Honda also partnered with SoftBank to create a helpful AI assistant software named the Honda Automated Network Assistant, or HANA for short. This software works as an emotion engine that will learn from the driver and detect emotions behind the driver's judgments and send recommendations for future driver-based decisions. The last two big features on the Honda New V are the large touchscreen displays that cover the entire length of the dashboard and the electric skateboard that mounts and charges in the back of the vehicle. The touchscreen is much larger than any other display featured thus far and gives all the updates and specs related to the operation of the car. Curious to know what number one is? Before we get there, did you know that YouTube recommends you get one like for every 25 views on a video? If you enjoyed this top 10 mini EV list, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Number one, Smart EQ. Closing out our list is a mini EV by the subcompact auto manufacturer Smart, who happens to be owned by Daimler. The Smart EQ 4.2 is the EV variant of the popular gas-powered 4.4. Initially released in 2007 with 100 production units sold in the London market only, the Smart EQ is now on its fourth generation and is available in many markets across the globe. The fourth generation Smart EQ went into production in 2017 with a new body and 17.6 kilowatt hour battery that gives the car a range of 58 miles or roughly 93 kilometers. The permanent magnet AC 
DC synchronous motor has a peak power output of 55 kilowatts or 74 horsepower and 130 newton meters or 96 pound feet of torque. The top speed is 78 miles per hour, making it highway or interstate capable, and the 0 to 60 time is 11.5 seconds. You definitely won't beat a Tesla, but unlike some of the other mini EVs on this list, you'll at least be able to take this one for a decent road trip. The MPGE equivalent for this ride is 122 miles per gallon, so get ready to save money and save the planet with our number one pick. Number 10, the Calibri car. We start off the top 10 mini EV list with an electric one-seater vehicle out of Germany named the IMA Calibri. Originally premiered at the 2013 Geneva Motor Show, this Mini EV has a two-gear automatic transmission and is the first vehicle in its class to pass the Euro NCAP crash test. The vehicle went into production in 2014 with a curb weight of just 970 pounds, giving it a top speed of 75 miles per hour and a 0 to 60 time of 9.9 .9 seconds. The 72 volt 6.5 kilowatt hour lithium ion phosphate battery can last for over 2,000 charges, which should keep the vehicle going for roughly eight years or so. The development of the IMA Calibri Mini EV was actually state aided by the German government with a 2.8 million euro or roughly 3.8 million dollar subsidy way back in 2011. A distinct feature of this Mini EV is that the frame is actually made up of magnesium, which is considerably lighter than other vehicle construction materials. The lightweight frame coupled with the low capacity batteries give it a driving range of 68 miles per charge that can be fully restored in less than 2 hours or 80% restored in 20 minutes at a fast charging station. So if you're interested in a futuristic solo driving experience, the IMA Calibri Mini EV is definitely a great option for you. Number 9. Cabin Car MK2 This Mini EV is more of a mobility scooter, but given its car-like features, it is definitely worth talking about briefly in this video. In terms of mobility, very few scooters can match up to the Cabin Car MK2. And as the company has said themselves, the MK2 is a completely revived approach to mobility. With super bright front and rear LED lights, a dual speed windshield wiper, durable floor mats, easy access door, advanced electric braking system, and a 1400 watt motor, you get a lot of vehicle like mini EV features at a reasonable price. This mini car even comes with interior heating, remote locking, backup camera, and rear parking sensors. However, don't expect to go too fast in this ride as it has a modest speed of about 10 miles per hour and a battery range that'll take you roughly 22 to 30 miles on a full charge. And coming in at just over $10,000, you're getting much more value than you're paying for. Number eight, Renault Kangoo E-Tech Electric. Now let's get back to the more traditional Mini EVs with the Renault Kangoo ZE Mini EV. Originally produced in France, this Mini Electric EV can get you all around town and back home with some battery to spare. This Mini Electric car can go over 120 miles per charge before needing to be plugged back in. With the 31 kilowatt per hour battery that powers an electric motor to 59 horsepower and 166 pound-feet of torque, the response time in this mini car is amazing. A full charge takes about six hours to complete and a quick charge top up should take around an hour, giving you an extra 22 miles of driving distance. For a mini EV minivan, it really is quite spacious and can be used to go on a trip with friends or to move some light cargo, giving you all the flexibility that a van can offer. Depending on which model you get, maximum payload capacity is anywhere from 640 kilograms to about 800 kilograms. The Kangoo ZE was originally released in 2011 and is still in production today, making it one of the more long-standing EVs on this list. However, this Mini EV is only currently available in the United Kingdom, the Netherlands, and Germany. Oh, and this vehicle was actually named Electric Vehicle of the Year in both 2012 and 2013 by Greenfleet. Number 7. Electric Mini Cooper Even though they may not be considered a Mini EV by today's standards, the Mini Cooper started this whole Mini thing, and now they have an all-electric version that deserves to be on this list. 
Mini Cooper has been a popular brand over the years, so it's no surprise that they are also making this transition into the EV market. But will the EV Mini Cooper be the same as the full-blown Mini Cooper? We can expect a little bit of difference, mainly from the decreased driving range, but all in all, the EV version is everything its gas-powered cousin is. The EV version of the Mini Cooper comes with the famous handling that many drivers are used to, combined with the potent acceleration of an electric motor. It comes with a 32.6 kilowatt per hour battery that generates over 181 horsepower and 199 pound-feet of torque. It can go from 0 to 60 in a cool 6.2 seconds and features regenerative braking as well. A driving range of 110 miles is actually below average in the 2021 EV market, but this can be compensated with Mini's quick charging times. In fact, the Mini Cooper Electric can be charged to about 80% in under 30 minutes. The short driving range may be a turnoff for some people, but it's a legitimate trade-off given the type of car it is as well as the affordable price point. In fact, the Mini Cooper EV is definitely one of the more affordable EVs out there, coming in at just over $30,000. And that's a great value considering you get to drive a high value brand like Mini. It also features the electric vehicle norms such as an infotainment system and driver assisted technology. So if it's in your budget, the Mini Cooper EV surely is a great option. Number 6. Strom R3 Mini EV Hailed as India's most affordable electric car, the Strom R3 Mini EV is a Mini EV that has been on many people's radars for quite a while. This entry-level electric vehicle is perfect for those researching the purchase of their first Mini EV. It has modest power given the vehicle's nimble size and the lithium-ion battery charges to full capacity in three hours. The electric motor produces a mere 20 horsepower and 66 pound-feet of torque. The top speed is just around 50 miles per hour with a maximum driving range of 125 miles per charge. So you can't go very fast, nor can you go very far. But if you're just looking to drive within your town or your city, this Mini EV Tri could very well suffice. Featuring a fully electric two-door, two-seater setup with a large sunroof, get a pal or your special someone to hop in and enjoy one of India's most affordable electric cars. After all, it costs a mere $9,400. Number 5. Solo Electric Car With the emergence of many EVs around the globe, we doubt any car will come closer to the term Mini than Electromechanica's solo electric car. Coming in at just $18,000, this ultra-small, ultra-stylish, three-wheeled Mini EV can be yours if you feel its size truly does not matter. The Solo has a powerful 17.3 kilowatt-hour battery that can travel up to 100 miles on a single charge. What's more, it charges up to 90% within three hours at charging stations with the option to plug into a traditional 120-volt outlet. The electric motor produces 53 horsepower, giving this lightweight EV a top speed of 80 miles an hour. With the ability to go 0 to 60 in 10 seconds flat, this rear-wheel drive car is pretty zippy considering all the features it provides. The most distinct feature is its unique three-wheel driving system known as a tadpole or trike vehicle design. It might take some getting used to, but once you get the hang of it, driving this car should be pretty smooth and pretty comfortable. Number 4. Arkamoto Speaking of three-wheeled EVs, the Arkamoto FUV is another fun vehicle worth looking into. Due to local rules and regulations, you'll have to wear a motorcycle helmet and have a motorcycle license in order to operate this mini EV. But it's well worth it as you can do so much more than you can on a motorcycle. For starters, the FUV stands for Fun Utility Vehicle and is available in some parts of the United States, including California, Oregon, Washington, and Florida. For its size, 75 miles per hour isn't too shabby. It doesn't go as fast as the Solo, but speed isn't necessarily everything when purchasing a mini electric vehicle. The FUV Evergreen Edition sports a 20 kilowatt per hour battery pack that produces 81 horsepower and gives it the top speed of 75 miles an hour. It goes from 0 to 60 in 7.5 seconds, which is over 2 seconds faster than the Solo, and a single charge will last over 100 miles in the city. If you're driving on the wide open highways, be mindful of the charge as your driving range is cut down drastically to a maximum range of 66 miles. Arkimoto is based out of the U.S. in Eugene, Oregon, and they offer the FUV for business use as the deliverator as well as for first responders. 
It has no digital entertainment system or built-in GPS, meaning you'll have to connect your phone to make use of Google Maps or any other GPS. And you can order this one now, starting at roughly $18,000. Number three, Tazari Zero. The Tazari Zero is an Italian-based EV manufacturer, and in the world of EVs, they've been around for quite a while, with production starting for them way back in 2009. We at the future always appreciate Italian design, and the Tazari Zero is no different. This gorgeous little two-seater EV makes use of a lithium-ion battery that delivers a driving range of over 87 miles with a top speed of 64 miles per hour. The maximum torque reaches 111 pound-feet, and the battery can be charged to 80% within a 50-minute time frame. The Italian brand has been around long enough to offer many different models, including the 04 Open Sky Tender, the 04 Open Sky Limited, the 04 Open Sky Sport, the 0 EM2 Space, the 0 City, and of course, the 0 Junior. There might be better options out there in the terms of speed and battery capacity, but for the price, the Zero EVs from Tazari will turn heads in any city. They currently cost around 16,000 euro or roughly $19,000. Number two, Ortega Caro. Coming in at number two, we have the Caro from German-based EV manufacturer Ortega. This unique looking two-seater EV doesn't pack a lot of power, but don't be fooled, the Caro Mini EV offers a driving range of over 124 miles per charge and has a top speed of 56 miles per hour. With plenty of colors to choose from, this energy efficient electric car is a revival of the iconic 1950s car named the iSetta. This EV microcar opens from the front, causing the casual viewer to do a double take when passengers get in and out of the vehicle. And due to its size, it has a maximum weight capacity of 441 pounds. Good thing it's only a two-seater. Its weird design was initially created to go through those extra tight European city streets, and it is able to park simply by driving in to a parking spot face first. Armed with a front opening door, leather sunroof, bench seat, and sliding side windows, it's hard to believe this electric vehicle was just released last year. Now before we get to number one, I'd like to say thank you for checking out our channel. If you enjoy the content that we provide, please be sure to subscribe. Number one, Microlino. If you're not completely sold on the Ortega Caro, then come take a look at the Microlino EV. It's another electric microcar that takes its design from the classic Isetta vehicle mentioned earlier. This electric bubble car can do little wrong in the world of electric vehicles. Features an 11 kilowatt hour electric motor with a driving range of 125 miles per full charge. And what's more, it has a top speed of 56 miles per hour. It comes with two battery options, a 500 kilogram curb weight and a base price of 12,000 pounds. Unlike other vehicles featured in this video, this car has two rear tires instead of one, meaning it's not a trike. It includes adjustable seats, side pockets, two USB ports, a bottle opener, and the interior makes use of an eco-friendly leather, making it even more friendly to the environment. So go clean with this 100% electric, zero emissions, mini EV. It may be a tad slower than the Ortega, but the brand appears more competent and reliable. Number one. Quattro Velo. The Quattro Velo is a unique looking Velomobile with a relatively uncommon design. In fact, if you see one of these going down the road, you might think it looks a bit like a shoe cruising down the road. If that doesn't bother you though, then the Quattro Velo is the human powered vehicle for you. Developed by the Dutch company Velomobile, the Quattro Velo is a four wheeled pod bike designed to keep the driver completely covered and safe at all times in all weather conditions. The manufacturer claims this bike car was also developed with speed and stability in mind, allowing for safe cornering even at high speeds. What's more, if you want to bring your child along or pack any luggage, you can as this pod car offers a luggage hack that can double as a safe location for a child seat. Now you can commute to work or have some family fun on the weekends for 8,900 euros or roughly $10,700. What are your thoughts? Is $10,000 a small price to pay to decrease your ecological footprint? Let us know in the comments below. Number two, Scouter Mobility Pod Bike. Designed to meet the demands of what is now commonly referred to as the last mile transportation, Finnish company Scouter Mobility has partnered with Valme Automotive to bring you our next entry in zero emissions mobility. This two-seater pedelec has much more aesthetically pleasing design than the Quattro Velo. 
and rightly so, as the company plans to market and distribute these vehicles within major metropolitan cities using a bike share business model similar to the company Lime Bikes. That's right, soon you might be able to rent one of these Scouter Mobility Pod Bikes in a city near you. Wondering how the Pedelec works? Well, pedaling your Scouter e-bike automatically recharges the electric engine's powertrain and battery so you can travel around town as much as you want without worrying about running out of fuel. Scouter Mobility is working hard to fulfill their mission of creating zero emissions, safe and fun mobility solutions that are both electrically assisted and pedal powered. Look for the Scouter Mobility around a city or resort near you soon. Number three, Van Moof S3 electric bike. For this entry, we decided to feature an electric bicycle, but don't worry, there are plenty more Pedelecs and Velomobiles coming later in the video, so be sure to stay tuned. Oh, and if you haven't yet, be sure to give this video a like. It really helps us bring you more future-related videos. The Van Moof S3 is one of the best-looking electric bikes on the market right now. With a stylish design and relatively low price tag, this e-bike will definitely turn heads as you cruise effortlessly around town. This futuristic bike includes automatic gearing, disc brakes, and what the brand has promised to be puncture-resistant tires. The tires are large, durable, and likely to create quite the smooth ride. Other essential features of the Van Moof S3 electric bike include its anti-theft defense system, e-shifter, and intelligent motor. The S3 also offers a location tracking feature and smart display that allows you to set the alarm directly from your smartphone. That's right, as are most things these days, the Van Moof S3 is app-enabled so you can track your rides and access valuable data on the go. The app also ensures your investment is safe from thieves as you can track the bike's location from the comfort of your own home. The electric bike itself has a long-lasting lithium battery that can get you anywhere between 37 and 93 miles on a single charge, depending on the rider's weight and overall hilliness of your commute. Number four, biohybrid. Wow, when we came across this little doozy of a human-powered, electric-assisted bike, we were thrilled and couldn't wait to put it in our video. Created by the German company Biohybrid, created by the German company Biohybrid, this fellow mobile uses human power coupled with an electric motor to zip around town, and zip it does. In fact, as the Biohybrid Velomobile has four puncture-resistant wheels, an excellent weather-resistant roof, and is electrically enabled, many people might ask if you're cruising around in a mini-sized electric car. As you do not need a driver's license to operate any of the biohybrid models, you can easily zip around traffic via the bicycle lane. Also, why travel alone with the biohybrid when you can easily add friends and family to the mix? This bike has plenty of space for you to comfortably carry additional passengers. And what's more, the biohybrid provides spacious storage that allows you to take luggage or cargo along on your trip. We think you'll find the biohybrid is bursting with smart ideas. Number five, Frycar e-bike. For the next entry on our list, the Frycar pod bike is a modern e-bike that offers incredibly unique features and forward-thinking design. Developed to bridge the gap between cars and bikes, this Norwegian-based e-bike has cycling features along with the shape and feel of a mini-sized motorized car. And even though this Pedelec is small, it is quite visible on the road, making it less prone to accidents. It even has indicator and drive lights, as well as energy absorbing crush zones, rollover protection, and seat belts. How's that for safety? Not only is the Frycar electric bike safe, but it is also comfortable in any weather condition. Designed for the frigid Nordic region, this e-bike has a filtered air cabin and optional heating. This e-bike is classified as a bicycle and therefore does not require a license or registration to drive. The range is 60 to 90 kilometers on a single charge, but the charge can be restored when braking or going downhill at high speeds. Oh, and this pod bike actually enables you to comfortably cycle uphill with the help of its electric power assist. So future-proof your commute and check out the Fright Car pod bike today. Number six, Mulsane. The Mulsane is the second JV Finois designed Velomobile on our list today which is fitting as it is also the second JV Fenois Velomobile to hit the market. The Mulsane was built for speed and aerodynamic superiority, 
However, it works great in every environment and can get you around perfectly in both casual and urban settings. The Mulsane has an aluminum frame that is both lighter and more durable with standard models weighing just 28 kilograms or roughly 62 pounds. It has 24 gear Shimano speed shifters making it suitable for all terrains. This vehicle was originally developed in France in 2013 and has been going strong ever since. Number 7. Sunox Screecher Bikes Visually, the Sunox Screecher appears to be one of the simplest designs in this video. However, this Pedelec e-bike is bursting with originality. With four separate models, the Sunox Screecher bike offers a fast acceleration that will get you from point A to point B in no time at all. The Sunox bikes are four-wheel drive, human pedaled, and electrically powered, making them the definition of a Pedelec. What's more, these bikes are also solar powered, so you can charge the batteries on the go. And speaking of batteries, the Screecher bike has a removable battery that can take a rider up to approximately 32 kilometers or 20 miles on a single charge, making it great for both rural and urban areas. I guess we should also mention it has the ability to fold up, saving on parking and storage space, and provides a hook for pulling a trailer. Now how's that for utility? Number 8. Iris e-trike for the next last mile transportation vehicle, we have the Grant Sinclair Iris e-trike. And wow, what a cool looking e-trike this is. The UK based e-trike is built for super fast, super safe, long cycling ranges with 250, 500, 750, and 1000 watt motors available depending on the country or region you live in. The body design is inspired by velodrome racing bicycle helmets and no additional license or registration is required to pilot one of these. Looking to be extra safe? The company claims the futuristic design and high-level profile attracts the right kind of attention from other vehicles on the road. What's more, the body is made of state-of-the-art quantum foam EPP material similar to the crash helmets used in downhill skiing. There are also LED headlights and brake lights to aid in visibility and in-cockpit HEPA filters to catch and filter out bacteria and viruses. The tires are puncture-proof with superb grip, and the cockpit comes complete with a universal smartphone dock and real-time backup camera. And all of this can be yours for about 5,000 pounds. Number nine, NLM 4K Export One. Wow, the design of this electric-assisted velomobile is just out of this world. British company Northern Lights Motors has developed a last mile transportation option that feels like it could be from a high speed bike race in a James Bond film. Yep, with three separate models, you can speed around your town or go out of town with a stylish velomobile that can travel 50 to 100 miles on a single charge. This is possible due to the 48 volt, 20 amp hour battery and one kilowatt electric assist hub motor. The bodies of the three models are roughly 50 kilograms or about 110 pounds if you're in the US, gel coated and come with a full vinyl wrapped body. These Velomobile e-bikes are quite safe with hydraulic brakes all around, protruded wishbone suspension, LED headlights, tail lights, side lights, and repeater indicators. What's more, these incredibly designed personal transportation vehicles come with a detachable roof for weather protection, touch screen interfaces, and it even comes with reverse. Now when's the last time you heard about a Velomobile that can back up? Great, Duo Moak. Now that we've defined the different types of futuristic innovations that we will look at, let's look at number eight on the list. The Duo Moak concept by German e-mobility startup Urban Drivestyle. This four-wheeled cabin pedelec is similar to the Canyon's Future Mobility project released last year and is part of a sub-niche in the bike community that is set to take the e-bike world by storm. With its 20-4-inch flat tires and low LI chromoly steel enclosure, this comfy cruiser is more reminiscent of an e-beach buggy. The young company from the capital of Berlin has already made a name for themselves with other unusual e-bikes, like the Uni MK, the Uni Boost Electric, and the Uni Swing. One of the biggest features that differentiates this e-bike company from other e-bike companies is their consistent use of fat tires on all their electric bike models. No insurance or driver's license is required to operate the Pedelec Dual Moke, 
and it is legally a multi-lane bicycle. It's allowed on all bicycle paths and sidewalks, so it's perfect for local commuting or local delivery of lightweight deliverables. The Duo Moak is 171.5 cm by 80 cm by 110 cm and has a height on the seat of 84 cm. The German-made Silverfish 48-volt lithium-ion batteries deliver a total driving range of up to 60 km or 37 miles. The motor is a 250-watt rear hub-mounted motor from Chinese e-drivetrain maker Bafang that delivers up to 80 newton meters of torque. While still in the prototype stage, it's unclear if what we see now is what will go into production. Either way, the brand has been vague about pricing, but estimates appear to be around 5,000 euro or 5,800 US dollar range. Number 7. The Velo e-trike the Velo Family Smart e-cargo trike with solar power assistance aims to combine the usability of a bicycle with the cargo features of a traditional car. After garnering plenty of attention at the 2020 CES conference, the French startup confirmed they wanted to make commuting and shopping much more energy efficient. But with a price tag of roughly 9,000 US dollars, will families and consumer bite on this bike car mashup? Time will tell. But this zero CO2 emission ZEV e-trike is designed for one adult rider in the front and either two kids or the optional cargo trunk option in the rear. The outer shell protects the passengers from weather conditions and the vehicle's overall 7.4 foot length and 2.7 foot wide make it much easier to park in the city than you would be able to with a car. Another key differentiator between the Velo and other similar vehicles is the patented tilt steering mechanism that allows the rider to lean into turns much as you like and as you would on a motorcycle. This along with the narrow profile increases the aerodynamics and battery life of the vehicle. The companion app gives the user access to real-time geolocation, traffic updates, solar panel charging, battery life, speed and much more. This is the third Solar e-trike developed by Wello, and it is currently available for pre-order for 7,900 euros or roughly 9,000 US dollars. The French Postal Service has already purchased a few of these vehicles, but we want to know what you think. Is 9,000 US dollars a decent price to pay for a solar-powered electric trike? Let us know below by adding the hashtag e-trike in the comments below. Number 6. Pedilio the next futuristic Velomobile quadricycle on our list is the solar-powered Pedilio by German-based engineer Thomas Weback. Most daily drives are short trips with only one person in the car and the Pedilio aims to be a sustainable alternative for these short inner-city commutes. The Pedilio is set into motion by pedal force, then, almost immediately, the powerful electric motor amplifies your own muscle power to create an easy, almost carefree riding experience. The lightweight construction minimizes energy consumption and the roof-mounted solar cells allow this futuristic vehicle to operate independent of charging stations for short distances. With a top cruising speed of 25 to 45 kilometers or 15 to 28 miles per hour depending on location regulations and ordinances, you can easily navigate the daily trips to and from the train station, office or school and the attached luggage box accommodates shopping bags, groceries or any other daily needs. The roof doubles as a 100 watt solar panel that can supply up to 30 kilometers of travel per day, as well as a weather protector to guard against rain, snow or sun. To keep the occupants as comfortable as possible, the fully suspended chassis frame and innovative steering features allow for a fun ride and the nimble gross weight of 68 kilograms or 150 pounds brings the total driving range up to 60 kilometers or 38 miles. The cost of this futuristic Velomobile isn't currently available, but comparable vehicles go for around 10,000 US dollars. Number 5. The Vimo SE Similar to a car in many ways, the quirky-looking Vimo SE by Vancouver, Canada-based Velo Metro has a cover for wind and rain protection as well as side mirrors, turning indicators, full suspension, and a car-like backseat. This three-wheeled electric-assisted vehicle aims to get more people on bikes so they can enjoy the related health benefits while also decreasing harmful carbon emissions. As well as other Velomobiles or pedelecs, the Vimo SE is virtually effortless to pedal. The electric motor kicks in right away when the rider begins pedaling, creating what the brand calls transportation without perspiration. 
The electric drive is available in configurations ranging from 250 watts to 750 watts depending on your location riding regulations, giving you a top speed of between 25 and 32 kilometers or 16 and 20 miles per hour. The optional built-in security system includes an app-controlled parking brake, alarm system, and vehicle tracking. The range is 70 kilometers or 43 miles, and the batteries can be fully recharged in as little as 5 hours via a standard 120 volt outlet. The price starts at $4,999, but you can pre-order yours now for a mere $250. Number 4. The Pedalist with a design that blends electric bikes, cargo bikes, tricycle and velomobile, the Pedalist by Virtue Cycles aims to eliminate all the annoyances that come along with a traditional vehicle. And while you may not think that amounts to a lot, think about how much you'd save if you didn't have to pay for license fees, registration fees, insurance, maintenance fees, fuel fees and parking fees. At the very least, you'd surely be able to buy yourself as many triple almond mochas as your heart desired. In fact, according to AAA, that's AAA, the average true car ownership cost is over $9,000 per year or roughly $25 per day. There are three riding modes for the pedalist, pure pedal, pedal assist and pure electric. While you can go as fast as you like in the first two modes, the pure electric throttle mode will take you to a top governed speed of 20 miles per hour. The 750 watt motor and 48 volt 32 amp lithium ion battery combine to deliver a total driving range of over 50 miles per charge. While production ready models are currently sold out at the time of this recording, the brand states that the pedalist is available on a made to order basis only and delivery time could be as long as 4 months or longer. They do require a $1,800 deposit which makes up one third of the total $5,999 price. Number 3. The Electrom LEV the Electrom Light Electric Vehicle, or LEV, is a recumbent style electric bike made to efficiently move one person and their wares up to 200 kilometers or further in a safe and sustainable manner. The stand over height is just 17 inches thanks to its swing away front fairing and understeer handlebars that combine to create a user experience that allows the rider to easily get on and off. The Electrom controls are quite intuitive, consisting of only a throttle, brake, and turning signals. The two-wheeled electric recumbent bike is also unique and futuristic in that it has dual hub motors. Because there's no gear reduction with hub motors, the innovators at Electrom placed a lighter geared motor on the front hub which allows the bike to get up to speed quicker, and a heavier geared motor on the rear hub that allows for higher top speeds and better regenerative braking. This system also allows the vehicle to tackle steep hills as well as benefit from all-wheel drive traction. The production strategy for the brand is to build each Electrom LEV to order for each customer, either completely assembled or as a kit. The expected price is believed to be around $10,000. US dollars. Number 2. Pod Ride Probably one of the most famous quadricycle bikes cars on this list is the Pod Ride by Michael Kellmann of Sweden. But what exactly is it? To put it bluntly, the Pod Ride is an all weather four wheel e bike that looks like a car. Yep, now you can cycle anywhere in any weather, improving your health and saving money all while helping the environment. Pod Ride's electric motor is practically allowing you to adjust the level of assistance so you can travel further, easier, and even conquer hills. There's even room for groceries or for a small child in the back. According to the brand, the specifications of the pod ride are in flux as they are redesigning the quirky ride to optimize the manufacturing process. They are also in the process of adding improvements that have been suggested by supporters including increasing the size of the cargo area and replacing the steel the prototype was made of with a lighter aircraft grade aluminium. The target weight we are assuming without the included weight of the batteries is 50 kilograms or 110 pounds. The European version of the pod ride will have a 250 watt mid-drive electric motor that will stop assisting at a speed of 25 kilometers or 15 miles per hour. However, the rider can continue to pedal faster if they want. The planned total driving range is 60 kilometers or 37 miles. There is no pricing information currently available for the pod ride. Number 1. The Karkle Bike The last electric assisted velomobile on our list is the Karkle Bike out of Slovakia. Though you might not think it, this plywood-based pedelec uses material that is 5 times lighter than steel and 300 times cheaper than carbon. 
making it both ecological and affordable. And you might say there has to be an aluminum or steel frame in there somewhere, but the founder ensures that the prototype is made up entirely of plywood, frame and all. The prototype weighs 76 kilograms or 168 pounds, including the battery and motor, and can support a payload capacity of 110 kilograms or 200 pounds. The creator, Matej Balaz, is proud of this simple, ecological, and affordable futuristic e-trike as well as its unique construction. What's more, the back end can collapse if you want to enjoy the cool breeze or close the windows if it rains. While not available commercially yet, the owner states that one-offs can be built within a few days to the specs the customer requests. Well, this ends our video on the top 8 insane velomobiles, quadricycles, e-trikes, and bike cars. Be sure to check these futuristic vehicles out if you're interested in buying one. They will not only make you healthier, but they're also great for the environment. If you want more videos from the future, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell.